Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. We left off last time uh, with the uh, initial three machines to uh, advanced rocketry. And that's where I want to continue because I super duper want to get to the moon. That sounds like so much fun, mining the moon, uh, also mining other planets, also getting uh, the different ores that go into endgame. That sounds exciting. I went ahead and I knocked, took nuclear craft, the little section I had here, knocked the wall back a little bit further, cleaned up the chiseling just a little bit. Uh, we got the mob farm going, and let's see, I want to show you in the basement. I'm still learning how to do this. Uh, so I set up uh, ME interfaces on all of the nuclear craft machines so that I can start automa automating the alloys. Mainly silly things like bronze, electrum, invar, uh, but also tough alloys and uh, the nuclear craft uh, combined ones that I can't think of off the top of my head right now, to be honest. But yeah, I also set up uh, a two cloche that are just dumping into this uh, box right here because I can't figure out how the import export uh, bus thingy works. I can't get it to pull the items out of this chest and put them into the ME system. Uh, but I'll learn. Right now, sugar and cactus. Sugar we need for the bioplastic and cactus we need because of the uh, green uh, dye for those goofy things from uh, advanced rocketry that require lime green dye. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just growing these. I'm pretty sure like I'm already good for the amount of cactus I need for the amount of, uh, I should have just kept some of one, two, three, four, for the amount of dye that I need. Uh, let's go to the home. I'm also going to be setting up later the uh, um, auto auto uh, smelting, the basic one, you know, with the furnace. Instead of doing this one running off of coal, this is all just temporary for right now, just because it's not that important for me right now. Whoops, wrong teleport. So sorting facility. We were working on... Uh, advanced rocketry and I'm super stoked to get back into that because I want to get to the moon ASAP all right scrolling down advanced rocketry we wanted to start working on the electrolyzer so let's see I set up some things uh, as crafting patterns so that we didn't have to bother with them uh, when we got around to streaming because uh, a lot of the stream is wasted on the little crafts you know I'd like to just pop out the machines but I also want to show like the parts where I got stuck because if every streamer out there edited edits all of their mistakes out that and shows you oh well yeah pull this item out pull that item here's an item let me put it together I run into problems left and right, and I watch all of the YouTubers. Uh, and so, like, if if you're watching me making mistakes, uh, maybe you can learn from that as well. And because I mean, I, that's what I do. I look at YouTube, and I've watched enough YouTube tutorials. Uh, I know how to put down these machines, you know, but I mess up on. Uh, on weird things, you know, like the direction of the mechanism machines or pipes not working or, you know, silly things where mods conflict with each other. Let's see. Okay, so I have the control circuits. I need a, a blue one and a green one. I know I have those on autocraft now. Do I Did I put more lime? I did. So user interface. We have the basic circuits now, right? Because we made them last episode. Did I put them in? Let's see, craftable, stored and craftable. Yeah, oh wow, I made 512, wow. 
So we need a blue one and we need a green one. Make a blue one and we'll make a green one. There's the green ones done already. What's what's stuck on the blue one? Oh, it has to make the logic processors. It's cool to watch these things work. 20 seconds left. Electrolyzer. And then redstone torch. Let's just make one more just in case we're missing that one. Since we're waiting anyway. Steel plates I think we have. Yeah, there we go. That's the electrolyzer. Oh, advancement electrifying. Cool. Advanced rocketry. Let's see what the electrolyzer needs. Electrolyzer, two machine structures, a coil. So let's make another iridium coil. Power input, fluid input, and fluid output times two. So power input two. Wow, does it need, does it really need two power? So weird. So power input. Power input, we need two of these, so we need two of these as well. And then one, two. Two. And we need uh, two fluid input. One and two. We need two machine structures. We need the iridium. The iridium coil. One. Meow meow. Cat's meowing. Electrolyzer, iridium, power input, fluid input. Hey, come on, buddy. So two fluid out, two fluid outputs. Okay, stop going back up to the top, buddy. One fluid input, two fluid outputs. So let's see. Can I turn this one around? Oh, I can't. So I only need one fluid input. So we'll put this one off to the side. We need two fluid outputs. Cool. One and two. And then hopefully one of the other machines needs a fluid input. I'm not too stressed about it. All right, and let's go head back to new mechanism. Quest complete electrolyzer. Wrong mechanism. New mech. Getting a little bit of a lag spike. I don't know why. That was a weird sound for the elevator. So let's just keep on continuing on along this row here. We need shift right click. We're na we're making the electrolyzer. That guy. Let's see where can I put you? It is a another 2 by 3. So we'll move you back one. And is one space in between good? Yeah. How about here? One space in between, one space from the wall. Looks good. It's exactly where I want it. So in the front goes the electrolyzer. And then we have fluid output hatch in the front. Fluid output hatch in the front. There and there. And then what do we have? We have fluid input hatch in the back. And then what are those? Machine structures. That's where the two machine structures go. <clears throat> All right. And then let's roll this, this one up one. Oh, cool. It only has the back row. So the coil and then both of the powers. 
So the coil in the middle, and then both of the power inputs. I wonder if both of the power inputs have to be plugged in for it to work. Neat. I like that. That looks cool. So those are fluid outputs. Two fluid outputs and one fluid input. Let's grab our pick. And we need to, I guess we can go down here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, it's gravel. One, two. One, two. And gravel. Cool, let's get some of our power. Ooh, we're running low. I think I put those on autocraft. Come on. There we go. So we'll go up the middle. <clears throat> and then we'll plug it in the back like this. There we go. And then we'll do insert without signal. And insert without signal. Now you should have power. And I'll turn you on. I really don't know. Like, it's cool that it's got a power switch, but is there like a downside to having these machines always on? That I don't know. We're also going to need fluid. So the electrolyzer, what does the electrolyzer take? I want this guy up and running. The electrolyzer is a machine that uses RF to turn water into hydrogen and oxygen. Both of those fluids are needed later on to make rocket fuel, as well as to be able to breathe in space with a spacesuit. Cool, so we need to fill it with water. Now, how do I want to do this? I know I'm going to use a sink, but I don't want the sink to be visible anymore. I'm tired of... I'm tired of uh, seeing the sink. So maybe I can hide it. We're low enough. I th I'm pretty sure we're low enough to be able to just straight up hide it in the wall. So since I'm new to Ender IO conduits, gravel's being wow. Surprise, Gravel. All right, sink. I'm gonna hide the sink in the wall. I'm gonna hide it right here. And then I need the Ender IO fluid, which is gray. And let's see, will this work? One here, and then put it in here. And then up there. And then insert without signal, and extract without signal. Is that how it works? Oh cool. Oh cool! It's got a little bit of electricity going. Haha. <laughs> That's cool, and the front of the machine changes colors to show that it's up and running. I like it. Cool. And then, yeah, I need conduit facade so I can hide that back there. So let's see, I cut stone, right? Yeah. I can at least do that for now. The rest is going to be conduit facades. So this is up and running. Uh, now the fluid just needs to go somewhere. So I'm pretty sure we need to put the two pads the way I did it. I used... Uh, I used the really cool um, fluid lasers when I did this in Continuum. So we made that. We need gas charge pads. We need one, but I want to make two. One for oxygen and one for hydrogen. So we're going to make two of these gas charge pads. Gas. Gas. Charge. 
Gas charge pack. Whoa, that's more than I thought it was going to be. So we need two more of these. One and two. We need four of these steel fans. Four. We need four of these liquid tanks. Ah, oh, we ran out of rods. Steel rod. Let's make a hundred. Oh man, we got 19 liquid fuel tanks. That's what I, I was... I just remember that. We've been getting these in quest rewards, haven't we? Uh, but that's totally fine, because I'm pretty sure these are the same ones that need to be put on the rocket, which we need a lot of those anyways, so... Gas charge pads, here we come. Alright. We're missing the weighted pressure plate. We need two of these. And let's grab two of these. Are we really out of steel? Steel plates too, wow. Let's make a hundred of you. Overnight, I had both of the processors running uh, a thousand, or both of my computer like crafting uh, blocks, I had them running a thousand of each of the logic circuits and the calculation circuits just to fill it up. Two of those and another gas pad. Nice. So we got gas charge pads going. Got another loot chest and then what is this? Oh, we can make the spacesuit. Cool. I'll make an armor stand to it for it as well so we can check it out. Building a rocket. Oh, cool, so I can't go to building a rocket until I do rocket fuel. And I guess I can't do rocket fuel until I do rocket assembling machine, so I need to make the chemical reactor to un unlock these and go down more. So the chemical reactor will be next. Let's put the uh, gas charge pads down first. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There and there. And let's see. Do I want to put them? Yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll put them smack dab in the front. Like, I don't need to space them apart at all. We got fluid conduits. It is a fluid, right? Is it a fluid or is it a gas? It's a gas. So let's use the ender gas conduit. Let's see. I might have to give myself some space to work. Can I reach it from here? Yeah, that should work. Gas. Put you right there. Or does it have to does it have to go right out the front? You're not connecting. It is it does say fluid. But it's a gas when it goes into the tanks, right? Hmm. Either way. Fluid. Nice. That's what I want. So I'll set you to extract. Active without without signal. Yeah. And then let me see, can I put a pad down on top of you? And can I still reach you? Yeah, I can reach you from here. Cool. And then I'll do insert without signal. Come on, buddy. Oxygen. Cool. Hopefully this one will be smart enough to do hydrogen. It's weird. Like, sometimes it feels like it takes extra long. Oh, come on. I let go at 99. Fluid. There. There. And we'll set you to extract. Active without signal. 
and boop. Oh, come on, dude. Ugh. Dude. Not down there. Huh, it kind of does look nice, though, if you put it lower, huh? Oh, that might have been a mistake I just made, but... Should I go down one more? Make it flush? That was, I guess, a good mistake for me to make. So let's see if I can do this. Oh, and then I have to go down one more here as well so I can reach it. Alright, so more. Down one more. So down three. And then I'll do you. And then I'll put the gas charge pad flat right here. No. Up one. Dude, bro. Can I do this? No. Okay, so do I want it up one? Or do I want it down one? Be a hole to fall into. So no, I'm gonna put it up. you, grab you, and then cable here, cable here, no, yeah, no, cable here, no, <laughs> I'll put down one cable. Gas. Fluid. Put you there. And you on top. Come on, dude. You on top. Thank you. Hydrogen. Oxygen. Hydrogen. Neat. Come down here and set you. I'll set you anyways to insert without signal. I'll put this gravel back. Okay. Oh, I guess I didn't need to go down. I could have just gone straight through once. But will it? I guess uh, that's fine. Uh, is it fine though? It's gonna drive me crazy. Yes, it is. It's gonna drive me crazy. That's why I can get rid of this and this. There. Are you still set? Everything's still fine. Insert. Cool. Gravel, gravel. Stone. There, there, looking pretty, looking pretty. So now we have a oxygen and we have hydrogen and this doesn't really show like what's happening, but it is working. So oxygen, hydrogen, let me get, there we go. Nice. Looks cool. Be funny, like I'm already thinking like I could build something around this, make this look like a monster's face. <laughs> if I want to be bougie about it, right? All right, so I'll put that here, that here, here, and that'll be conduit facade whenever I get to conduit facades. And that is what we need to fill up our spacesuits. 
So we need to make the chemical reactor next to progress. Chemical reactor, we need, we need one of each. We need gold plates, we need another user interface. One of each, and we have a, more than enough basic circuits, cool. Circuit, we need a green one. We need a blue one. And I only have two crafting computers, so. One of them just finished, cool. Some of them are instant. Like the blue one I think takes a while. Oh, now I don't remember like what order they went. Let's see the blue one. Yeah, because it has to make these logic processors to make the uh, 1K ME fluid storage components. That's why it's taking a little bit longer. There we go. And now we are making the chemical. See, it's got our all of our flamethrowers are in here. The chemical reactor. Nice. Chemical reactor. We're running out of power cables. What else do you want me to make? I know you gave me the questinger, but I need one machine structure. I need a motor, which now I guess should I hmm, make the titanium motor, power input, fluid input. That's good. Hmm. Let's see, motor. We still have this motor because we made two of them to get that questinger. The chemical reactor, I think it needs to be fast, but as soon as I, I'm probably going to upgrade it anyways, right? Move everything, to, let, let's just use this one for now then because I'm gonna upgrade everything to times four speed because this is a big jump goes from 1 to 1 1.5 to 2 to 4. But to make this one, I need to go to the moon first. So let's run on these cheesy motors for the time being, and then I'll upgrade all the motors so that they're nice and fast. It'd be a waste of titanium if I make it just for the moon. Chemical reactor, one machine structure, one motor, two power input plugs. So we need another two of these. Oh no. Ran out of tin plates. Set you with a hundred. Power input. Let's go. Power input. We need two of these. We need an input hatch and two fluid input hatch. Input hatch. Two input hatch. One. Two fluid input hatch. Let's see if this one input can be turned into an output. No. It's okay, we made another one. 
we need two fluid output. This is the one that takes the rock makes a rocket fuel, right? Two fluid input. Okay. Two fluid input. So I'm assuming I'm already thinking ahead. I'm going to need to run the uh, the cabling that I just made. I have to run it through the. And I think the advanced Ender IO can take. Oh, see, I made another one. Yeah. I think the uh, the Ender IO cables can run multiple fluids through the same cable. That I'm hoping will work. And I need a output hatch. It keeps scrolling back up to the top. I need an output hatch, dude. Come on, man. Output hatch and fluid output. Okay. I need an output hatch and a fluid output hatch. Cool. So this is the chemical reactor. Hmm. Should I build it next to it or should I build it in front of it? Because if I build it in front of it, the cables won't have to cross. Let's see if I can make this work. I want to make it look pretty. Shift right click. We need the chemical reactor. So let's see if I can make this work. I'm going to stand here and turn around. Let's try there. Does that give us space to walk in between? Push it back one more. This is output, this is input, this is power input. This is also power input. What is the, this side? The back is fluid output, output. Let me scroll up one. Input, fluid input in the back. Okay, so fluid input goes in the back. And then the chemical reactor goes in the front. So I could run the cable. Whoa, I've never noticed that those are see-through. Sorry, got distracted. Uh, could run the cables under and then go up the back. Scroll it down one. Just trying to see if I want it right there. I can move it back one more. It did not move back. Here, please. That's lined up. How are you here? Are you lined up here? Yeah, I'm digging it. That's where I'm going to put it. So the motor goes in the front. We got power in the front. Is it really? I know the, the top is going to be pretty much set, right? Input hatch. Do items go into this thing? I thought the chemical reactor only takes the two and mixes them back together. Fluid input, fluid input. We got an output hatch and a fluid output hatch. That's where the rocket fuel is going to come out. But items? Let's see. Input our power input. There and there. Hmm. 
chemical reactor sits on top. I re vaguely remember this machine looking like it gets put together backwards. Machine structure in the middle. We need the fluid inputs on the sides. We need output hatch and fluid output. We got the fluid output here. And we need the output here. And the input here. Then we need fluid inputs here and here. Cool. So we got this bad boy going this way now. Let's see. Yeah, this one kind of looks like it, it's backwards. But the machine interface is right here, so we got to run power. And we also have to run the two fluids. See, I wonder that's the output hatch. It needs to wrap up. It needs to go up and attach here. I'm hoping it doesn't matter which side takes whichever uh, fluid. One more. Cool, we'll go this way. And then yeah, I'm gonna go down one more with the cables so that I can hide them. I wasn't expecting to plug these two machines in like this. So I need, let's see, I think I have the power cables. We need, well, yeah, we need more power cables. So let's make those real quick. Ender conduit. Did I set these stored and craftable? So no, I did not make these on craft. 16, oh, I'm missing conduit binders. I know I made the vibrant alloys. That's another one of the alloys that I set up. Uh, let's see, we need conduit binders. Grab a stack of you. And head home real quick. Toss you in there, take you out. We're good for green dye. And I'll let them smelt because I don't think we need them immediately. Go back to new mech. And let's go back. 16 should be enough. 19 should be enough. Power. There we go. Can I reach you from here? Yeah, yeah, uh, good. Let's see. Up and over. Or do I want to move in the middle for symmetry? Like that. And then up. And then up. And then plug it in here. And here. And insert. Without signal. And insert without signal. So I'm thinking maybe maybe it has two power input inputs 
so that if you wanted to run two separate max cables into it and it, it can accept the full so instead of yeah like if see this since this is branched it's 125 going both directions because this it's uh limited by the one cable coming in power is coming in 125 it's not going to turn into 250 when it splits but if it was two separate power cables then maybe this machine can get power twice as fast uh okay we need to send the fluids now the fluids definitely have to go down one and hopefully i think what i read with hold shift uh instant fluid teleportation allows multiple fluids to be transported on the same line i'm really hoping that's true or well in this case it doesn't really matter because the the cables won't cross right what I'm hoping is that it's not going to uh, matter which to which side I bring what fluid. That's what's going to bother me. If I bring this up and it doesn't want to insert, that's going to be a real bummer. insert without signal so now you should have power and how do I check to see oh no you're well you're not getting the fluids from here yet so let's bring you down one yes you're connected whoop Still getting used to create a flight. Chemical reactor. Oxygen. Hydrogen. Nice. Uh, output. Fluid output. I need to bring out my Yetta wrench. And I need to. Or oh, wait. That actually might be a total benefit to me since it runs the same cables or this two multiple fluids through the I can set this to let's do brown extract on brown active without signal fluid empty I hope I didn't just empty it. Like, I wouldn't know where I put it. Because I'm not sure if it's on. It's not animating. Input hatch. Let's see, does it require an item? Rocket fuel? Rocket fuel from Ender IO? No, right? tank of rocket fuel no so rocket fuel from advanced rocketry and now it's mixer tar and bitumen and oxygen makes rocket fuel from advanced rocketry isn't that the point of this thing chemical reactor so let's check out chemical reactor that and then let's hit u for use chemical reactor carbon collection cartridge bone meal what please don't tell me that's the only thing that this thing does I thought the chemical reactor makes something Let me read what the chemical reactor it is a multi block machine that uses RF to make various things. Its main use is adding the airtight seal enchantment on armor. An armor piece with airtight seal can be used to substitute any piece of the spacesuit 
when going into any planet without atmosphere or the vacuum in space. Just like the spacesuit though, a chest plate enchanted this way still requires to be filled with oxygen. Oh, so it just, it doesn't make you be able to bypass that mechanic, it just lets you fill it, fill your chest plate with oxygen. Uh, that's a bummer that that was required. Like, I don't know if I'm going to use that. The rocket assembling machine. Building a rocket. Could have sworn that that, the chemical reactor, makes the fuel. So rocket fuel. So let's, let's just keep on trucking. Let's keep doing this. Rocket assembling machine. We need a rocket assembling machine. Cool, we're going to get into the launch pad and a fueling station. Rocket assembling machine. And let me put these down just for right now so that I can walk across. And then we'll 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 get back to you there, buddy, since you're not even showing me any cool animations. Rocket assembling machine. So we need two more green ones and we need one of these. Two of these. Still doing good. <clears throat> we need two gears and two rods, which we don't have. Two gears and two rods. Cool. Two. Two. Oh, what are we missing? Concrete. Oh, that looked like diorite to me. Concrete. Rocket assembling machine. Nice. Launch pad nine. So it's a nine by nine? No, nine would be a three by three. So I'm gonna make 25 launch pads because I want a five by five. Launch party, launch pad. Oh cool, so that's where we can use the concrete now. Okay, wonderful. Another die. Oh, cool. Maybe we can use these factory blocks that we got. Dandy? Do I have, I have two? That <laughs> Two dandelions. So I need, yeah, black and I need yellow. Darn. Really? I'm going to be gated behind yellow dye? It's dye again! So let's see, what was the other items required? We need four structure towers, and we need the fueling station. And it makes eight. fueling station. I'm pretty sure that's where the rocket fuel goes in so you can link it. We need a blue one. While that one is crafting, let's go to the sorting facility and fly around some. snipe some of these flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, render.
Dude, dandelions. I think sunflowers work, right? Do sunflowers work? Oh, wow, they make two. Nice. Sunflowers to the rescue. Oh, wow, they only, they only show in one direction. Fifteen. We're almost there. Sunflowers are the way, though. Quality Minecraft content. Using creative flight to snipe flowers. Because you're gated behind yellow dye. <laughs> I wonder... I've never... I haven't tried it out. But I wonder if uh, you can put just regular flowers into the uh, garden cloche to grow flowers. But I also haven't even looked up if there's a super simple way to get dyes. You know, like, I never ever watch any of the YouTubers struggle when it comes to dye. That's, that's probably what they do off camera. You know, or they edit that out of their, their videos. Oh cool, this one's in the bush. <laughs> Alright, so dandelion, we got one. And let's do this. 24, that's enough, yeah. And I'll keep these sunflowers just in case they can be grown. Uh, also, one reason why I was totally okay with going out here and uh, <clears throat> gathering some flowers is because on our silly little island that we have across the way, where Trin and I uh, manually had to beat our, uh, what's it called, withers manually. I really wish that this, oh, it's cool, it's showing the, is that the dragon's nest? Okay, it's gone now. Yeah, I wish the rendering would do a better job. But yeah, we've been manually killing withers here. I went up. I, I built another Californium RTG because we I, I found a dragon, killed it, green one, it wasn't anything special, had another Californium 220, 250 in it, I built another one of these, plugged it on top of the Mob Crusher. The Mob Crusher has a range add-on tier 2 and it reaches inside and it's protected by the glass. So now uh, it, it's it's not automatic yet. Soul sand, wither skulls. I need one more soul sand, it's four. Coal sand, soul sand. It's still manual, but it's safe. And you can put them down sideways. You know, the the, the wither doesn't have to be upright when you, when you make them. Bam, bam, and bam. As long as you don't stand in front of that little hole. Whoop. You're gonna... Boom. And... Dead. And the, uh... Mob Crusher's safe because it's behind this glass that can't shatter. And there we go. Nether Stars. And Supremium Essence. And Bat's Wing. Cool. So that's how I'm going to make a couple of them. Of course, going down here, I'm going to install the Wither Builder. That's, that's of course, you know, so that uh, I can seal this. And then uh, the Wither Builder is part of the quest anyway. And then, uh, yeah, because uh, I think I need 72 structure frame tier 5s to upgrade the Void Ore Miner from 4 to 5, and each one of those requires a Nether Star. So that's 72 Nether Stars I need to upgrade the Void Ore Miner again. Let's see, now that we have our die, we can go back down here. Man, I wonder why it's having so much trouble rendering today. Cool, as long as we're down here, everything's fine, I guess. All right, we were doing the, yeah, launch pads, the launch party. Launch pads, we need, we have three. 
put you in here. Oh, and now I lost it. Yellow. We need a total of 25 so I can make... <laughs> so I can make a 5x5, five because five, that's what I'm going to send up into space, is a 5x5 five five platform. Twenty-five. Got twenty-five. And my hunger just slipped just a little bit, so let me eat one of the new foods. Wonder why my sound is muffled. That's kind of weird. I'll put the Yetta wrench away for right now. And this structure is not going to need any cables. Uh, we need... not. Well, the fueling station might. Launch fire, rocket assembly, and the fueling station. So we got the fueling station. This is what we were working on. That blue one should be done now. Okay. And a steel fan. Nice. And a fueling station. Thank you! The fueling station I'll probably put above ground. Because it wouldn't make sense to launch a rocket from a basement. Rocket assembling machine is a multi-block structure that will allow you to make rockets to go into space. The first quest will only detail how to build the structure. Start by placing launch pad blocks in a rectangle on the ground. It can be anywhere from 3x3 three three to 16x16, sixteen sixteen, which does sound interesting because putting up a 16x16 sixteen sixteen sounds, sounds nice too. On the same level place a structure tower near one of the side, then stack up more of them to make a one block tower. This tower can be anywhere, yeah, so that's how tall the rocket has to be. Finally place the rocket assembling machine itself one block above the level of the pads, with the back of the machine facing the pad, and plug it with RF. If you did this correctly, it should no longer say invalid launch pad structure. Then you need the fueling station to be able to fuel your rockets, place it somewhere near the assembling machine, plug it with your RF and your source of rocket fuel, then sneak and right click it with a linker, then sneak and right click the assembling machine with the same linker. Okay, so let me, while we're at it, make the linker. That one is the linker. There we go. And let's see, sorting facility. Hmm. I wish this mountain would render. Hmm. Is it daytime? Yeah, it's daytime. I really need to make something that can turn off the rain, because I think the rain is what's causing, like, my computer can't handle the, the animation for rain. Hum, hum, hum. Should I put the rocket right there? On top? On the on the roof? It's kind of weird to have mechanism, nuclear craft, and advanced rocketry all in one place, right? Hmm. I'll put it down for now. And if I don't like it, I can always move it. Launch party. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at that symmetry. Three. Oh, wait. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Like that. Like so. And in the middle. Now we have a 5x5. Five five. And then, let me see how this factory block looks. I know we got it as a quest reward. I don't think this will interfere with the structure. I hope not. It makes weird noise when placed. Like it's hollow. And then we'll access it from here. It's good that it's odd number so that the rocket assembling machine. Said. Oh! That dude, Coot. Thank you for the follow. 
Makes me really happy. Cool, so rocket assembling machine. I'm gonna get you power. Oh, now that it's sunset. I can get rid of this rain. Purple heart! My favorite color is purple. I'm glad that sleeping at night makes rain go away as well. I'm so glad. Okay, so we got that going. And from what I understand, this has to be also, this has to be one block above the launch pad. And I think this has to be one block above the launch pad. Okay. I think so. I'm not going to be able to scan it anyway right now because uh, I don't have a rocket ready. Fueling station. Where do I want to put the fueling station? Do I want to put it on the side as well, like right here? Or do I want to hide it in the back? Hmm. It, it'll be too clutter cluttered if I put it all on one side. It's too thin on this side, so let's see. Maybe I can do this on this. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Do I want it? Hmm. I'll put it right here for now. No, it needs to be off. Right here. And then I'm going to use an ender tank to get the rocket fuel in here. Maybe. I wonder if the tower thing has to be on a corner or if I can also make it symmetrical and in the middle. But it's trial and error. I know we got the quest for this. All right. Okay, so now, weird, that's weird. So I had to go down here to open this. So it's gonna go this way, building a rocket and then it'll activate rocket. So we have to build a rocket before we get access to rocket fuel. Okay. Guidance computer, planet ID chip, seat, liquid fuel tank, one and one. I wonder if this really is enough. Like, can you liquid fuel engine, liquid tank, guidance computer, and then a seat on top of it? Can you launch yourself with just that? <laughs> it's cheesy. Planet ID chips. Yeah, building a rocket. But uh, yeah, let's hit F1 so we can get a nice look at it. It looks pretty. Let me see, from far away, how does it look having the launch station? Eh, it looks fine, I guess. Maybe if I scoot it a little bit more to the left. I can scoot it a little more to the left. Or maybe even make a dedicated area, you know? Because I have the storage facility. I have immersive engineering. Of the bare minimum, of course. The Thomcraft. That's our home that Trin built. And then, yeah, the barn that I built, that's what I started all of this off on. And <laughs> don't even use it, it's just aesthetic. And all the cows have died. I don't know why. And yeah, the mine shaft and our armor collection. Maybe. So maybe I'll work on a, uh, a rocket section. Advanced rocketry, like a area where we lift off. Hmm, and I don't know that much about rockets. Like, it wouldn't make sense if I put it in the mountains. It would probably have to have solid ground, huh? Hmm. Oh well, but that's something I can think of uh, off stream. Uh, yeah, we got a lot accomplished today. We knocked out the electrolyzer, the chemical reactor, the rocket assembling machine, gas charge pads. I'm really excited because uh, tomorrow's episode is definitely going to be building a rocket. So I'm really looking forward to building a rocket. Would be funny is if I made the rocket pad on top of one of these twilight forest trees. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Zeus Goose, thank you so much. That means a lot to me, honestly. I'm glad that you're loving the stream. What do you think? What do you guys think? Uh, since uh, there's people in chat, do you think I should put the advanced rocketry launch pad, build it on top of this uh, dead tree? We're halfway to space, right? <laughs> Love the buildings, thank you so much. It's both uh, both Trin and I have, have have made this all together. I'm still working on the uh, um, the path, like if I like the path this way or not. I'm thinking about going through with a shovel and right clicking the ground along the path, you know, to make it make the grass die. And further accent it. I know. Uh, the what is it like trend trend created the the bridge i love the bridge and then i copied her design on the bridge over here in front of the thumbcraft building i copied her, her design instead of you know terraforming and filling in dirt and everything here uh and getting rid of the water source i want to build around so that it looks more natural it looks more interesting this way but yeah like yeah launch pad on top of the tree just to be silly. <laughs> Zeus Goose, thank you for the follow. Cool, I got two follows in one stream. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Here with our buddy, the skeletal horse. Who got stuck in one of these bear traps that I got from a, uh, a loot chest. It might even be the horse that I shot accidentally in the side of the head back in episode 2. <laughs> two or three all right but I only have an hour to play each day uh, I dedicate the rest of the time to spending time with Trin and uh, today is actually a pretty cool day we are off to uh, the midnight premiere of Captain Marvel super excited for that uh, so with that thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow again at 4 p.m.